time and the world do not stand still. Change is the law of life, and those who look only to the past or the present are certain to miss the future. I said, are certain to miss the future! <laughs> oh no, I missed that! Prime Minister Castro, this missile crisis was the last straw. We almost blew ourselves up. Now we invited you here today... In good faith? In good faith. To sort this thing out. And why is he here? He lost! As I always say, forgive your enemies, but remember their names. Now, gentlemen, as I like to think, in the long history of the world, that there are only a few generations. Sounds like someone breaking in! It's just a storm, Dick. Sit down. Oh my god! It appears the Pentagon has been breached. Zombies. Gentlemen, at times like these, our capacity to retaliate must be, and has to be massive, to deter all forms of aggression. Gentlemen, lock and load. Viva la revolución! Any last words, Mr. President? Yes, Jack. Any superlative words of inspiration for our humble troops? Do not pray for easy lives, my friends. Pray to be stronger men. I've always liked the monster within idea. I like the zombies being us. It's like zombies are the blue collar monsters. We're completely surrounded! We're completely fucked! Are you girls kidding me? I've been praying for this shit! Come on! Boys, let's get to work. For God's sakes, he missed me again! <sighs> oh, cut! Are you blind, man? Like this. Ow! Oh. See? No, Hefe, I do it like this. Danny! I do it like this. Get back to hair and makeup. You don't look dead enough. Come on, let's go. That ain't in the script. We're writing a new one. It's called Magic. Death Massacre! This is a real nightmare! Let's slay some stiffs. Years ago, I did research for a World War II movie. I came across some old Nazi documents. I couldn't believe what I was reading. Element 115, necromancers, raising the dead, real creepy stuff. We're completely surrounded! Come on! The coolest thing? Some of that crazy shit happened right here. I don't understand. Why are you doing this? Why me? Travel where? Don't you get it? There's nothing left! How did you... What? What do you mean, mend the rift? Well, maybe I don't wanna? Huh? Did you think of that? Oh, you can't tell him about the flesh! What I did, they'd kill me if they knew. Ah, oh, shit! If you're gonna talk to your imaginary friends, Stu, you might want to wait till you're in a Z-free zone. Stupid jerk! Get over here, now! 
Mine, come on! What do we do now? We arm up, find a good place to defend, kick ass, that's it! I don't understand! What are you talking about, Stoolinger? Misty made it pretty clear! Incense of hate, begin a move! We're going down! We're going down fighting! We've been here before. Hey, Sal, we must have been through this 50 times already. And we'll go through it another 50 if that's what it takes. 9.30, lights out. God begins his rounds. How we doing tonight, Ferguson? Fairly good. Yeah, doing great, Mr. DeLuca. My boy Tommy, it's almost six now. Ain't that swell. Hey, Finn, you get that tip for Saturday's race yet? I'm working on it. Right now. You're gonna shut him up? Or do I gotta do it? You know the rules, handsome. No talking. 9.35, the weasel launches into his song and dance routine. Damn it, Arlington. You gotta get the doc! Gonna be the real deal this time. Once the weasel gets the keys, we move on to stage two. Let's get moving. Here you go, fellas. Courtesy of the warden's private collection. Boys in the laundry stashed the parts? Of course they fucking did. What the fuck? I killed him. You've been in the joint too long, Al. You've forgotten how to get shit done. <laughs> What the fuck? But I'm gonna break. I'm this gonna ain't right. Break Something weird's going on here. You don't say, Weasel. Where are those screams coming from? Oh, shit. Enough walking for today. We set up camp here. In case you boneheads have forgotten, the world is broken. Very broken. The dead walk the earth. And what remains of civilization is at the mercy of forces we barely understand. What makes you think we're gonna find something different at this new place? I don't know that we will, but at least we'll be sure. Uh, sure of what, exactly? I don't know. His memory's going again. Your name is Russman. Russ Man. That my first or last name? We don't know. You're just Russman. Yeah, anyway, you're a former operative from Broken Arrow. You've been walking the Earth since the, uh... <clears throat> Incident. Yeah. I think I remember. The town. That's right! That's where you found us! When we met, you already had your lapdog in tow. What do you mean, lapdog, huh? I'm the only one who knows what to do! Don't talk stupid, Stu. All you know is whatever the German tells you to think. I don't think you're in any position to ridicule Mr. Stuhlinger, particularly 
given your own proclivities? You better watch your mouth before you say something you regret, boy. Enough! We need to remember why we're here. We've all been jumping through hoops for reasons we don't fully understand. Fully understand? All right, for reasons we don't understand at all. Point is, we do it. We keep moving, we keep fighting. It's what we do, day in, day out. If you really need a reason why we do this, I'll give you one. We do it because doing something, anything, is better than doing nothing. The rift is less than one day's travel. We move at dawn. What if we don't find answers? Then we'll just have to ask more questions. It began long ago, on the battlefields of the Great War. Two German scientists sought to harness dark and mysterious forces buried for centuries. They believed their discoveries would assure Germany's ultimate victory. What they could never have imagined was just what else their research would unearth. Ravaged the front lines, the hopes of the Allies rested on three soldiers sent to stop it. Let's take a moment and break the ice. So all the intentions are known. See, I have pity in watching you suffer. I know the people are being damned up. I got a storybook of my own. Don't you see? I Samantha, I'm going to tell you how all this really began. As the gates to Agartha opened, the four heroes were rewarded with riches beyond imagination. From that day forward, they knew that Samantha would keep them safe forever. Getting everything wrong. I told you before that her eyes should be blue. It's my turn, Eddie. I can do whatever I want. But you don't even know how to play properly. Girls don't know enough about zombies. What's the choice of a shooter? Make sure the windows are locked before you come down to the basement. We'd better do what your dad says. I 
didn't even get my turn. Tomorrow, Eddie. You get to make the rules. I promise. Come on, Fluffy. I wish the heroes in our stories were real, Sam. I know what you mean. But we will make everything okay. My dad says he has a plan. I'm so sorry. I really don't have time to explain. I have a universe to set right. Thank you, and goodbye. wasn't how it was supposed to go. We we're supposed to secure the package and be in and out clean. Instead, the whole thing's been one disaster after another. Eat my blade, beast! Ah, fucking move, maggot addicts! Today, you die! Oh. First, I took your legs! Now, I take your life! I should never have trusted you, Richtofen. Never. He's still alive. I fucking hope so. This subject will one day wreak havoc across the entire universe. He cannot be allowed to leave. Ugh. This wasn't how it was supposed to go. We were supposed to secure the package and be in and out clean. Instead, the whole thing's been one disaster after another. I should never have trusted you, Richtofen. Never! You should trust me, Dempsey. You all should. This artifact has the power to contain and preserve the subject's soul. Your soul. But it can only be done after the moment of death. Just as you saw me do to my other self. It is the only way. Wait! If someone's gotta take him out to save the universe, then it should be me that does it. Good to see you, Tank.
them almost as though they were my own Tokyo Musaki I did not believe I would find you in such a place I was a warrior I fought many great battles for the glory of our nation for the honor of the dying samurai spirit I was a hero. I share this memory. I have lived many of the same victories. I later learned that my victories were unwelcome. His betrayal was driven by petty jealousy. He knew I could endure anything. That I fear not even my own death. Punishment is one thing. This is cruelty. Who could be so evil as to desire another soul to endure such suffering? Who amongst us could be so dishonorable? Are you so blinded by your own loyalty? The orders came from the Emperor himself. My life, my path, is a built upon a lie. This realm may have been corrupted and consumed by evil, but we possess the power to change things. A better tomorrow is only possible if we blow away the ashes of the past. None of us Choose the means by which mercy will find us. But I am at peace. I understand what must be done. Will you be my Kaishakunin? It is my honor. Something else we must do. 
there is a chain of events that must be set in motion. I am sorry, Nikolai. I wish... I wish there was another way. But know this. In my heart, I share the same pain as you. The pain that you have buried and blurred beneath an alcohol-fueled haze. Yes. The pain of your own memory. You loved and you lost. Everything else has been delusional fantasy that distance you from painful truth. You know what I speak of. You remember. Before the bombs fell. Before she was... taken from us. Some things are forgotten. For a reason! <laughs> It is done. The souls have been collected, Maxis. We will see you soon.
Okay. Uh, let's recap a bit, shall we? This was meant to be a new start, really. A perfect world. Free from all the evil that had corrupted each and every corner of the known and unknown universe. It was going to be a place of safety for the kids. The little yous. You, little... Well, so far, so good. But things started to go wrong soon after you arrived. Now, I can understand your initial shock coming face to face with Maxis, especially after so long. But you did the right thing. You followed the plan. You brought the summoning key here. And you destroyed that bloody machine once and for all. Thing is, Maxis went and ballsed everything up. Please, you must help me. He heard voices, you see, calling to him. Can we prevent the destruction of your world? It wasn't really his fault. You know, he hasn't actually got his soul yet. All I got was a brain. Anyway, the key thing, as in the thing that is key, is that Max is fiddled around with the summoning within the chain and accidentally released an even bigger bastard. Someone even I didn't know was in there. The Shadow Man. The one and only original Harbinger of Doom. too far out of control. This isn't any vague woo -hoo 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 evil. We're talking about the Apothecons, the most powerful and evil entities in all the existences that ever existed. And now they're here, in our perfect world. I'm not going to sugarcoat things. It's a fucking shit show. Sophia. Maxis. You know what we must do, my dear. Yes, my love. We will do it together. As one we are. Now and forever. With the evil vanquished, I can start making it all nice again. No undead, no apothecans, no shadow man. All of it gone. Forever. But it, here's the funny thing. You snowflakes shouldn't even still be here. You should be fading out of existence by now. Those blood vials. I was wondering when you'd bring this up. They're from realities we've already closed off. They shouldn't be here. They can't be here. Such a paradox means you're putting my perfect world at risk. You guys and your bloody free will. What to do? What to do? Well, you certainly can't stay here. You could send us somewhere else. Somewhere we've never been. Hmm. I suppose I could make a little corner somewhere in history. A place where I can dump some of the other shit that I've left over, or I just wipe you from existence. 
Oh, hang on. Actually, that all works out perfectly. Give us the fire. We'll give them hell. Do not speak so lightly of hell. Easy, Tech. I didn't mean the real thing. Gentlemen, we are here. Survival depends on it. Ah, yeah, yeah. You remember? Ah, so much to do. The vessel from Axis. The opening of the gateways. Are you sure you're not getting confused? Ah, you'll be needing this. The Cronori! But I've already read it! Read it again. What is the meaning of this? The pages have changed. They... Our blood! My blood! You cannot possibly expect me to let this happen! Son of a bitch! Let me guess. You're not gonna let us in on what that was about. Or explain why you have people in freezer. We are leaving. So the conditions. Asshole. <laughs> Sing. They are free of this realm. Ain't that swell? Does that mean we win? 
I would be greatly relieved if that were so. I am in no hurry to ensnare my mortal soul. That will not be necessary, Nikolai. The future has changed. Read it. Learn of your true calling. You must keep your soul. It will be needed to defeat Dr. Monty. Who? Let me bleed to death. It was so sad. The cycle is broken, Herr Doctor. As such, insurance policies are no longer needed. I wish I could tell you I was sorry, Edward. But I'm not. No! No, you can help me! You're a doctor! Wait! Don't you know who I am? I have been witness to miracles and calamities. Dimensions born and collapse. I walk a path no other can take. I want to be me. Someone who did all the hard work! It's me. Most hates this time. You won't even remember.
or it destroyed? Yet here we are. It's more time travel bullshit, Tech. Just hasn't happened yet. Speaking of BS. How the hell did you get back in your body, Doc? <laughs> Does it matter, Dempsey? I'll tell you what matter. Americans still give Nikolai his vodka. Is that your plan, Nikolai? To give up and drink yourself to oblivion? Or do you want to make a difference for once in your life? You! Oh, Scheiße. You four must come with us. In time, it will make sense. Now. Intruders on the base. Anchor four. Now we must go. Quickly. There is a war to be fought. War? What kind of war? A war unlike any you have ever seen. A little learning is a dangerous thing. Drink deep, or taste not the Pierian spring. So goes the poem. I understand its meaning. I have drunk so deeply that my every fiber aches with the pain of what has been. And the pain of what has yet to come. I fear it may drive me insane. Everything playing out as the Cronorium predicted. We have what we came for. The Elemental Shard. Hooray for us! No. It's too late! Maxis? What's happening, Nikolai? You are too late. Ah, shit. 
that's all we fucking need. Hello, Samantha. Who is the boy? Uh, that would be us. We're going to fight the war, Eddie. The great war. Then, we're going back to the house to kill him and burn it all to the ground. A guard. The ether. The infinite. Everything. Serious? No way! Dude, that's awesome! Uh, Stu? Oh my. Someone's been busy. Your enjoyment pal asked if we wanted to live. This don't feel like living. Calm down, everybody. Everything's fine. Or, or going to be fine. Okay? My friends, old and new, we stand on the brink of victory. Element 115, Group 935, the Helpic Scourge, the MPD, the Apothecals, all of it will soon be gone. But tonight, tonight we celebrate. Some maggot feeders headed downstairs, and we ain't got no weapons. Yes, I'm telling them now, but they're all a teasy bit grumpy because they just woke up. Hey, Stu, you want to be a bit more specific about what the voice in your head is actually saying? Dr. Minty, what is he like a bad guy? this power and the means to control it, we can go wherever we choose. At last, we can return to our homes, our old lives, our families. I've got to be honest with you, Samuel. I don't have even the slightest inkling as to what an Agarthan device is. He didn't say you had to know what it was, Martin. Just how to build it. Trust me, guys. It won't be that complicated. In fact, my German pal says it's gonna be a schlomp dunk. It's one thing trusting you, Stu. It's a whole other thing trusting your imaginary brain buddy. Uh, Rasma, how can you even say that? He's the sweetest guy in the whole universe. He wants us to help save it! The universe! Thank you, Sammy. I'm moved.
race is nearly over, child. But one thing remains. The one who perpetuates this madness. He must be... I wish I did not have to ask this of you, but... Only you can do it. Comrades, as we toast our victory, I want each of you to think about what you really want. Where would you like to go now? Believe me. must come to an end. The paradox must be resolved. At least, it will be quick. the chapters of our lives, good and bad. Even if there was no witness, even if no one cared to see, it still happened somewhere. We fought the Great War over and over, but victory could never be ours. We were always doomed to fail. Monty told us the truth. Our journey is the very reason this madness exists. We are the ones who fractured the universe. This is the truth the Cronorium showed me. The truth Richtofen could no longer face. When we are gone, so too is everything that spewed forth from the ether. Element 115, the Apothecals, even Monty himself. All of it will be banished to where it belongs. The Dark Aether. We should not be here. Our time has passed. But for all the pain and torment we have endured together, as we leave this life behind, 
It is my hope that you know one thing beyond any doubt. Look away, Eddie. You are more than just my allies, my brothers in arms. You were my friends. Ha 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 ha! 